the UK has had one of the most successful COVID-19 vaccine programmes in the whole world. We've already seen the vaccines having a major impact on infections, but an even bigger impact on hospitalisations and deaths. And our latest estimates are that um, since we began deploying these vaccines, they've probably averted in the region of 24 million cases of COVID-19 in the UK and averted around 112,000 deaths. So incredibly successful to date and remains so. But we also know that um, this pandemic is still active. We are not past the pandemic. We're in an active phase still. We know that this winter could quite possibly be bumpy at times. And we know that other respiratory viruses, such as flu and RSV, are highly likely to make their returns. So with all of that in mind, the name of the game, the mantra, if you like, is to stay on top of things. And that is why we asked JCVI to begin thinking and framing its thoughts around the booster program back in the summer and why the JCVI gave us some interim advice on the 30th of June. That set the direction of travel, but at the time it was too soon to boost people and there were not enough data to understand how, when and with what that might need to occur. But it set the direction of travel and most importantly it framed the possibility of a booster programme for NHS England and for the Vaccine Task Force who have been working really incredibly hard behind the scenes to prepare extensively for both the supply and the potential deployment of boosters if that moment came. So today is the time to clarify that announcement, to clarify the advice that I can confirm has now gone to ministers and we await the response.